Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to take a look at what is probably going to be the next Dokkan Fest exclusive coming to Global Dokkan. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take them here into the GT Legendary Goku event. Now, currently they are not on any category teams um, that have missions for the GT Legendary Goku event. But if any of their category teams get it... Radical Warrior, Kamehameha, you know, Super Saiyan, you, Movie Hero, Join Force, Hybrid Saiyans. Uh, this unit is a really, really good option to use in this event. Um, Chunks and Goten can be ridiculously powerful in, like, one of these sort of, like, you know, Infinite Dragon Ball History or Legendary Goku uh, event type settings. Let's go ahead and jump in, and I will show y'all what I mean. Okay, let me just go ahead and put these two items on, and let's go ahead and hop in. So we're rocking on the Kamehameha team. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do AGL Goten in slot one. Oh, perfect. We got him on rotation. We're going to do AGL Goten in slot one, and then we're going to do um, the Trunks and Goten in slot two. The, the Really, I guess the way you could sort of say like Trunks and Goten are sort of uh, balanced or something like that, right? Like the way you could sort of say that is the fact that they do like really need like another Trunks and Goten um with them in order to utilize their active skill right uh this trunks and goten unit they're very very strong um even without their active skill but once you pop trunks and goten's active skill it's just it it's gg dude like they they are just they're so stupid after their active skill goes off um and i mean the other thing too is that like you know they get like all this extra dodging which will be very good against Great Ape Goku. So, obviously, we are going to wait to utilize their dodging until we get to Great Ape Goku. Now, one thing that definitely could be an issue... Let's go 10's defense here. 126k, okay. One thing that could be an issue for Trunks and Goten right here um, is he. Uh, the fact that typically the way they work with, like, EGL Goten or one of these Goten and Trunks cards is that they're only going to get, like, two key from... Oh, wow. I Okay, I didn't... Okay. <laughs> I guess I should have expected that, but... I, in order for this, like for this showcase to work, I, I really do sort of need to to do it in that fashion right there. Though that, that, that it's very important um, that I have that AGL Goten sit in slot one and always super attack, right? Because I mean, you guys might have seen my no item, uh, my battle wits no item run, where I use the rotation of the physical kid trunks and the SCR Android 18. And they're tanking double digit damage. Like they're like taking like like Great Ape Goku super attacked 18 and did like 80k or something like that, right? Like it's it's they're so stupid. Um, so like Goten in slot one, you know, they get the six turn 50% um attack and defensive buff. So it is imperative that I keep that buff continually up, right? Like, like if you're gonna run that EGL Goten, the physical trunks. The SCR-18, you, for the most part, would want to run them on rotation. But with a six-turn buff, you can still get multiple uses of it with them floating. All right. So, right here. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Th this is exactly what I was talking about. Um, uh, with, you know, th this is what I was talking about with the key. The fact that both of them will need four key, this can eventually be problematic. Now, once we pop Goten and Trunks' active skill... They get a bunch more key, up to three for dodges, and then they get all this extra attack and defense and this dodging chance and stuff like that. But it's stupid of me to utilize their active skill before Great Ape Goku, right? Um, a turn because their active skill gives them guaranteed dodging for a turn. Like, think about how ridiculous that Great Ape Goku is. The fact that we can sort of neutralize that is going to be like godly. Now I do have to do this for this turn. Keep in mind that Trunks and Goten. They get 150% defense on super attack, right? So, I mean, they're actually going to be at, what, like, 250k defense or something like that after they super attack, right? Uh, so, they will take a lot of damage right here, but I do want to make sure that they super... Oh, no, still only double digits. Okay, not bad. And then now all of their defense kicks in. 6.25 without support, by the way. Um, this Trunks and Goten, they're brutally OP. It's just the one way that they're sort of, like, balanced is that, again, you do have to use them with uh, a Trunks, Goten. I, I don't even want to say or Krillin, because Krillin does give them access to uh, their unit super attack, 
which allows him to greatly raise attack for one turn and then give all allies a 30% attack buff for one turn on super attack, right? But that's not really, like, like necessary for them to be good. But, like, what really, really helps him out is, again, their active skill, which we could do starting from turn three as long as you have a Kid Trunks or Kid Goten in the same rotation, right? But Krillin does not help them get their active skill. So that's sort of the thing. You have to make sure you have a Kid Trunks or a Kid Krillin or, or a Kid... Yeah. A Kid Trunks or a Kid Goten around with them. Now, the one good thing is that they themselves do activate that active skill, by the way. Um, so, like, if you're running their... Because their leader skill is Prodigal Warrior slash Kamehameha. Um, so, like, if you're running that team, if you have one on rotation and one floating, you'll be able to use, like, both of their active skills on that turn. So, that does work. Um, a lot of times, I, I probably... I mean, I don't know. Like, if I run Prodigal Warrior, obviously, I have to run them as leader. But, um, like, just, like, for showcase settings, I, I haven't been using them as lead of the Kamehameha team as much because it's just... They only give 130% to defense. So, it's just, like, for the, like, raw numbers, like, comparing it to all these other units... It just sort of throws things off. That's why I'm using AGL Goten. Or, uh, excuse me, AGL uh, LR Gohan, right? Like, Trunks and Goten are just, I would say, outright a better unit than AGL LR Gohan. But, you know, for the purposes of the, um, this showcase. Wow, again. Yeah, okay. I, I, I love, I love being right. Here we are yet again, right? Where the fact that they only share one, you know, two key link can be an issue. Um... And again, I I have got to say I can I is this gonna get them a super attack? Yeah, okay, okay. At least Trunks and Goten can super attack. But I'm I'm missing the super attack with EGL Goten fairly often here, which is not good. Again, the the Dokkan Fest Trunks and Goten, um, like once we get that active skill off, they're getting seven mil, okay. They're getting a lot of extra key, which is going to help out, but I mean, you know, we, we could sort of see how this is gonna be an issue, right? Alright, so getting rid of him. Uh, let's get one rotation here with Trunks and Goten. I'll probably skip through because this, I feel like this, like, we're moving very slowly right now through this event. Um, so I will probably skip right after this next turn. Um, oh, Goku had us. We could end up, we, honestly, we could die if Goku shoot. Because this little rat bastard. Okay, that's good. This little rat bastard, man, the, like, these Gokus early on, they lower your defense on super attack. They really can be quite annoying, right? Because, like, once they start chaining, like, this defensive debuff on a bunch of your characters, it, 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 it's just, it's difficult to deal with, right? Like, bosses lowering your defense on super attack is a very powerful effect that's, like, actually pretty troublesome to deal with, right? So, uh, that's... It's, it's a good way to sort of, like, make, like, you know, this Goku's, like, stats. Like, Super Saiyan, you know, 1, 2, and 3 Goku in this event doesn't need ridiculous stats. But just the fact that he's lowering your defense can make him an annoying little prick, depending upon which character's defense he lowers, right? Okay, so... Oh, I could... <laughs> I could transform with Goku and Vegeta. I, I, I might save that for a bit. Okay. um I have got to get this Goten super attacking, man. So, let's... Please get him a damn super attack. We actually had key on this rotation right here. Um, and let's go ahead and see how this is going to look. I guess I could have brought, like, Tech Krillin on the team. Um, 4.2, huh? With me missing super attacks of them left and right. Oh, a double super. Okay. It's <laughs> so great. Look how stupid that Goten is, man. This is not going to do that much. Um, but it is going to lower his defense for next turn, the asshole. 5.5. You see the consistent damage? They do. Oh, wait, wait. Did I say they don't have support? EGL Goten is giving a small amount of support. He gives 18% attack and defensive support um, with another Trunks Goten or Android 18 around. So I, I guess he, he is sort of doing that. All right. So now we get to one of the real troublesome enemies here. Um, we should be okay, though. Um, I mean, we actually got pretty lucky with the way... Uh, Great Ape Goku is aiming all his attacks on the LR Gohan, so we can sort of just have the LR Gohan uh, take this. Now, again, this is where Trunks and Goten, and th this, I mean, you could count this as part of, like, their defense for sure. Oh, let me not do that. Um, but th this is also sort of, like, utility. Um, Trunks and Goten, 
having a turn of guaranteed dodging is just ultra powerful. Um, you know, again, for like a setting like this, because this Great Ape Goku, I mean, a lot of you guys on Global doing your like, you know, sort of like category runs, you guys have seen how annoying this guy really is. Like this guy is a real problem, this Great Ape Goku. Um, and at least for the first turn, Trunks and Goten, we just don't even have to worry about it at all, right? We'll pop it, their active skill, and we have get guaranteed dodging. And it's like a lot of times an active skill like that would be best saved for the end of the event against Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But keep in mind that that doesn't work against Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? Uh, you can't, like, guarantee uh, dodge him because he completely nullifies dodging, right? Now, it is pretty important that Trunks and Goten get put in a, in front of as many attacks as possible right here, by the way. Um, so, again, right now they get guaranteed dodging. And then every time Trunks and Goten dodge an attack, they get an additional key, 10% attack and defense, and a 7% chance of dodging up to a max of 3 additional key, 10% attack and defense, and 30% chance to dodge. So, 5 dodges will give them their maximum buff. Uh, looks like we're going to get, what, three dodges right here, which is going to be very good. Um, so this this is going to allow us, again, hopefully Great Ape Goku tries to super attack Trunks and Goten. And it just will look very good, you know, in terms of this showcase for them to just be like, oh, sorry, bitch, can't do it. Uh, okay, their damage looks a little bit low right there. Um, so they get 150% attack and defense on super attack. And they also have two separate great chances so they have two separate 70 percent chances of an additional 50 percent attack and defense so you can sort of see their attack and defensive numbers sort of wildly go up and down by the way uh you will sort of see it just there's like a, a large scale in which it's going to be going up and down so we got it right there um great ape goku decided he was going to be funny and i'm going to super attack trunks and goten your type disadvantage unit and we said nah no you're not nope nope buddy no you're not that's why we saved the active skill for that phase right we completely bypass that so now trunks and goten if we get them on another turn with great ape goku um trunks and goten are now going to have additional defense and uh like an actual real chance to dodge attacks right they right now with the three dodges they will have a 21 percent chance to dodge which is going to be pretty solid against this Goku, right? It, it's just a nice little addition to what's going to already be like, you know, 250k, 300k defense or something like that. Let's see what they're at. They're at 100k defense right there. Again, at bare minimum, it's going up by 150% on super attacks. So that's really good. I'm going to let Goten finish this phase out just to sort of keep his buff going consistently. But this is looking good, right? Um, all right, so we'll do... I'm going to do one phase against in Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, but, you know, we don't need this to spend too much time on this phase with Trunks and Goten. Because it's like, obviously, you know, they're getting... Um, they have type advantage, right? So we, we just don't even really need to worry about them in this portion of the event. Um, here, we'll go ahead and grab this. Uh, we'll do next turn. And then we will skip ahead to Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, the one thing is I really would... So, we've done three dodges with Trunks and Goten. Hopefully, we can get lucky and we can actually be able to uh, go ahead and get uh, the two... Um, hopefully, we can get the two dodges during this phase to get them the additional 20% uh, attack and defense. Uh, again, the, the extra chance to dodge is going to be irrelevant against Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku anyway. But the extra 20% defense would certainly be very good. Um, honestly, after they super attack, they, they could really tank Ultra Full Power Goku's um, super attack for maybe like 200k or less. Which would be very impressive just off of raw defense, right? But once you build up that attack and defense of theirs with their active skill, um, they really are able to show out quite impressively. So we definitely want to put them in as front of as many attacks as possible. Notice key is way less of an issue now for them that we got their active skill up. 132k defense when they get 150% on super attack. So impressive. What's AGL Goten's defense? 252k. And he gets 50% defense on super attack. Like, you guys can just see how ridiculous these guys are. 7 million just casually right there. Um, there we go. And, and again, their passive is not even fully built up, right? Like, they could still get another 20% attack and defense. So... 
All right, there we were just completely tanking Super Saiyan 4, this in Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's just not a threat to us. Let's go ahead and skip um, to tech uh, full power Goku. Um, and then we'll see how things are going to look over there. All right, so we're still going on. I might as well include this uh, turn right here in it. Um, let's go ahead and see how Trunks... Because we're just... There's so many attacks aimed at them, and we can see if they're going to get that additional uh, dodge chance. Look at, okay, so look at the extra damage they took right there. That's on account of them not getting one of those 70% chances to activate to give them the uh, um, additional attack and defense at the start of turn. Okay, we did not get their dodge, so we only got three dodges with them um, throughout the course of this event, right? We did not get the other ones. Um, do we have to worry about a super attack here? We do. Um... I'm just going to do this right here uh, just to make sure because I just want to get to this next rotation and I would like to see how Trunks and Goten are going to do on this next rotation um, against Ultra Full Power Goku and then uh, we'll, we'll finish up. Um, but I mean, as you guys can see, this unit is ridiculously powerful. Um, having this turn you can choose of guaranteed dodging is very good. Um, the only thing is that I guess you, if you save it for Great Ape Goku, because like, okay... It, Ideally, you know, the in Super Saiyan 4 Goku would have been STR instead, and you save their active skill for him, because he attacks so many more times per turn than the Great Ape version does, right? So it'll be much easier for you to potentially pop their active skill uh, in front of, a, like, a rotation where you're going to get hit five times so you can fully build up their passive, right? Because, like, that's the only thing is I did save it for Great Ape Goku, um, you know, which was smart, definitely, with how strong they are. But we were not able to... Um, pull in the whatchamacallit uh the full pass of them because we only got three dodges we were not able to get five dodges right um okay wow that's a lot of damage you took even after a princess snake active vegeto sheesh just goes to show how strong this goku is man he is really powerful all right if vegeto's gonna crit he's gonna do a lot of damage to this goku he does this uh, lr vegeto like with the crit counters does so much damage dude he's so impressive um okay so here we go. Let's go ahead and have Trunks and Goten. Uh, let's just see how they're going to do. We have the Scouter effect active. There is no... Okay, nothing to worry about. Um, I want to put them in slot one, I think. And I would like to just see how much damage they're going to take. Because This is good, because this will show us before and after they super attack how much damage they're going to take. Now, listen. Yeah, they're going to take damage. I ideally, again, what you're going to want to do is run them in slot two every single turn and run Goten in uh, slot one. Uh, again, sometimes people get confused why I do this for the showcase. I, like, I, like I was, like, so, like, Golden Freeze on 17, I was getting tweets about this. Like, like uh, you're, you're so stupid. You know, they need to get the damage reduction after they attack. Why are you running them in slot one? It's like, well, dude, it's a showcase video. I'm, I'm doing it to show because by running them in slot one, too, we can literally see their, like, damage reduction, like, part of their passive kick into effect during the turn, right? Like, if I put Trunks and Goten in slot 2, we would only see them once the full um, defense, like, sort of, like, kicks in. By putting them in slot 1, we'll be able to see both, right? We're going to see what happens before their defense kicks in and what it looks like after their defense kicks in. That's the reason I put them in slot 1 during a showcase. I mean, it should be fairly obvious, right? I'm showcasing the unit. I'm showing you guys what the various different situations are, right? Not just running them in their best situation all the time. Yeah, okay, you definitely don't. Okay, you Trunks and Goten, that's way too much. So you have got to run them in slot two. Um, now, AGL Goten, uh, the only thing about just this, this particular build I'm running is that AGL Goten, he would be a sitting duck if he got super attack. Well, maybe, maybe not. If he got super attack prior to him supering, because that Goten does have a small amount of damage reduction. He's got 18% damage reduction. Um, so as provided you have your previous turns of super attack effects going, he probably could actually survive a super attack from Ultra Full Power Goku, but it would bring you down to very, very critical levels of health. Um, so there was Trunks and Goten. I mean, as you guys can see, they're a ridiculously OP, tremendously powerful unit. They are just absolutely good. I would say they're probably highly underrated. So let me know what you guys think of Dokkan Fest, Trunks and Goten, full level 10 links in the GT Legendary Goku event. Probably the next Dokkan Fest coming to Global Dokkan. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.